Hi everybody, this is Lars Vermeer for Nukipedia, and welcome to volume 18 of our video series, Useful Nukipedia Tools. Today's video is about the Node Graph Utils 1.0 by Erwin Leroy. The Node Graph Utils are a set of tools that can help you to keep your script clean, expand it with ease, and just work a bit faster in Nuke. This is the link where you can find the Node Graph Utils on Nukipedia. But before I start, I have to mention that a big part of this tool is based on other Nukipedia tools. The Relabel Nodes tool is based on KU Labeler by TJ. The Align tools are based on W Smart Align by Walter Gilsing, which I featured in a video with UNT5. And the Miro Nodes tool is based on Miro Nodes by Frank Luther. I'll leave a link to these original tools in the description of this video. Erwin wanted to put his version of these tools and a few of his own tools together to create a very useful suite of tools for every compositor's housekeeping needs. Now let's get back to the NodeGraph Utils. Once you have installed the NodeGraph Utils, you can go to them through an icon in Nuke's upper menu. The first two sections of this menu are filled with tools that let you align, scale, distribute, and mirror your selection of nodes. In the third section, you can see a utility that lets you relabel your nodes, which is super useful because this tool can be used to make your script easier to read. To use it, you just need to select your node, press Shift and N, type a custom label for your node, and press Enter. This tool is simple, but it can save you a ton of clicks, and because it's so easy to use, it makes the process of labeling your nodes enjoyable. In the fourth and last section, you can see a Backdrops menu and an Experimental menu. The Backdrops menu lets you create a backdrop for your selected nodes with Alt and B, sort overlapping backdrops, and make your backdrop conform to its content. The experimental menu lets you draw connections, snip connections, and de-intersect nodes. Yes, you can now draw connections in Nuke, and cut connections by drawing across them like in Houdini. This is pretty cool, and I can imagine that these two commands can potentially speed up your work in Nuke quite a bit. The de-intersect nodes command can help you out whenever you might have exaggerated the usage of the scale nodes tool. In my eyes, all of these node graph utilities are extremely useful. But for the rest of this video, I'm going to focus on my favorite tool of Erwin Leroy's node graph utils, which is the scale nodes tool. The default hotkey for it is control and plus, but you need to have some nodes selected in order for it to work. And you can deactivate it by just clicking outside of your selection. I already modified the shortcut for this tool, so I can enable it with one hand. If you want to modify the shortcuts of these tools, you need to edit the init.py file in the node graph utils folder. At the bottom of the text file, you can find the shortcuts for the node graph utils and just edit them to make them work better for you. All right, now let's get back to the scale nodes tool. Once this tool is activated, you can do a few awesome things with it. You can scale your selected nodes with these yellow handles, scale your selected nodes and enable or disable grid snapping by pressing S. When scale nodes is activated, you can hold control and scale your selected nodes, which will then scale your whole script along with the scaling of your selected nodes. And finally, you can also use the scale nodes tool to move your selected nodes around by activating it, holding shift and moving the handles of your selected nodes. The middle left, right, upper and lower handles let you move your node selection around horizontally or vertically by pressing shift while the tool is activated and dragging them around and the corner handles of your selection let you move your nodes around however you want when the tool is active and you're pressing shift. I just love the scale nodes tool and I think Urban Leroy created an awesome suite of tools with the node graph utils. All right, that's it for this episode. If you have any tool suggestions, just send an email to admin at nukipedia.com. And if you want to watch some more of my tutorials, you can check out my channel Love the Effects on YouTube. Again, this is Lars Vemje. Thanks for watching. And goodbye, everybody.